Hi Stampers, thanks for joining me today. I'm going to show you nine cards that you can make with the Moving Forward stamp set. We're going to start with some clean and simple. This card I've used pewter embossing powder with Versamark ink and a heat tool and just layered it on Whisper White cardstock. This is a single layer card using the delicate designs embossing folders. The next card is double mounted on Whisper White cardstock. And now to step it up to the next level. This card uses Whisper White cardstock and the Coordinations cardstock in early espresso as a frame. This card uses the Labels Collection framelits, Whisper White and Soft Suede cardstock and a Chevron embossing folder. This one uses some brushed gold cardstock, silver mini brads and a cupcake punch to make those clouds. Here we're using Coordinations cardstock in early espresso, Whisper White cardstock and some framelits and the square lattice embossing folder and I've sanded that coordinations paper. I've used the festive paper piercing pack and the paper piercing tool. And inside the card I've put the little frog image on some Whisper White cardstock layer. I wanted to show you what this looks like so you can see that I've added some fussy cutting with some balloons and I've just put a couple of dabs of white Signo gel pen on those. You can see I've even sanded the edge there's the inside of the card. And now we're going to step it up with some hand-drawn 3D frames. Have a look at this next method that I'm showing you. This is something completely new. All you need to do is draw some simple frame shapes and some lines to divide them up. And have a look at this next section. I'm going to show you how to do this 3D magic. You're going to leave one space and then colour in the next, just like so with the fine tip of your basic black marker and leave a stripe down the middle and that stripe is actually what gives you the 3D effect. Now leave a space or two spaces in fact and colour in with your fine tip marker. Leave two spaces, go to the next one and I'm going to speed it up to show you how I do the rest of the card all the way around, leaving those two spaces in the middle. And the reason this works is that the eye loves to complete patterns and the eye will see this as a 3D picture. It's a really fun way to frame your cards and I've been using this a lot on all of the cards that I've been doing lately. And there it is just finishing off at the end. And I'll zoom out so that you can see the whole effect of that frame. Doesn't it just look like it's 3D? It actually looks like it has a curved and rolled edge on it, but it's a flat piece of paper, just a single layer card. Now I'm going to use some of the Moving Forward stamp sets, and I'm going to use the Curly Cute Happy Birthday and my stamp -a jig so that I can line it up perfectly on the card. Just getting that nice and straight on my grid paper first and moving the imaging sheet and bringing in my stamp, stamping down and I have a perfectly straight image. Now you'll see on this stamp there is a message underneath that I really don't want to show up because I've already used Happy Birthday so I'm going to mask that off with some good old scotch tape. Just putting that over the image there that I don't want to come out on the particular part of the card using basic black ink. I'm now going to ink that up and you can see how once it's inked up that scotch tape's all messy. So I just peel it off and voila it's nice and clean and that will not show on the card. So now I can stamp that down. I'll just straighten it up first and stamp down. Nice clean image. And so the colours on this card work really well. Riding Hood Red, Basic Black and Whisper White. I'm just bringing in the little flower image, stamping that into the basket. And here's my fine tip on the Basic Black marker again. I'm just going to hand draw a curvy line above the basket. And I have fussy cut a small balloon out of Riding Hood Red A4 cardstock. And I'm going to pop that on top of that line with half a dimensional. 
So there's a little balloon flying above the bike. I think that's quite cute. I hope you like that. And there's the second version of the card, this time using the airship. And I've put three balloons on the back and I've put the airship off to one side. And I've used the congratulations instead of the happy birthday. And you can see how it has a wavier frame. I've used wavier lines on the frame. So that's the very stepped up 3D frame version. Next time you're doing some cards, bring out your inner artist and try to think outside the square, or in this case, think outside the rectangle. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you again next time. Bye.